What's going on guys? We just caught this beautiful blue cat and we're gonna go ahead and release it. Beautiful healthy fish and we're gonna put it back in the water. There it goes. We're gonna let it go, let it grow so we can catch it another day. Today's video I want to talk to you about catch and release. Some people think it works, some people don't. But I'm gonna explain it to you and I got a great story for you, so stick around. Whew. All right guys, I had to get out of the wind, but I promised you a good story. So as you know, every story starts with a good backstory. Ever since I was a kid, I've had a passion for fishing. So much so that my parents would avoid telling me about our fishing trips because I would either wake them up super early or I'd be awake all night long just with excitement on going fishing. As I got older, I decided I wanted to share this passion. That's why I started my YouTube channel, but I still wanted to take it further. So five years ago, I decided to start a guide service. So I've been guiding at Elephant Butte Lake, beautiful, beautiful lake, and I've done my best to put people on their personal best size fish. I gotta tell you, starting out as a guide, I was super nervous. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if I could be consistent enough to produce fish for my clients that they would be happy. But as time went on, I got over that nervousness that I would have and it's been so much fun. We go out there, we have such a great time and We've caught some really big fish on my boat. Now the Blue Cat State Record catfish was caught June 13th of 2005 by a fellow named David Gower. This catfish weighed 52 pounds and four ounces. Now we've caught some big fish on my boat, but nothing to beat the state record yet. But the closest we've come was a gentleman by the name of Joseph Lugo. Joseph said that he would be happy just getting out and catching one blue catfish because he had never caught a blue catfish before. He said he didn't even care if it was just one pound and we fished all day. Just one blue cat would make his day. So I told him we'd get out there and see what we can do. Well, we got out there and it was not a one pound fish. Joseph had a big surprise waiting for him. Check it out. What's going on over there, brother? Oh man, <laughs> I can't even, I'm still in awe. It's not gonna hit me till later. This is just unreal. Well, let's see what you got there. Just a little uh, <laughs> 47 pound blue cat. 47 pound blue cat, not bad for your uh, first blue cat. Very first blue cat. <laughs> Bucket list fish, man. I'm, I'm glad we. You. I'm glad we could do it on my boat, man. Yeah, thank you, Chris. This is this is this is you, man. Wow, <laughs> let's awesome. Get, let's, <laughs> let's get that big boy back in the water. Let go, man. That's it. <laughs> Good job, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that fish that Joseph caught, 47 pounds, guys. Joseph was so happy. Biggest blue cat he'd ever caught. Only blue cat he'd ever caught. First fish of the day. Can't beat that. We had such a great day. We caught that fish. Now, it did not beat our state record, but it was, what, five pounds shy? So close. So we went ahead and released that fish and went on with our day, caught some more fish, had a great time. Now fast forward, July 25th, 2021, same year. I'm launching my boat, got clients that day. And a guy, his name is Justin, He's he's got a, a smaller boat and he was, him and his buddy were getting ready to launch. And I, I saw him there, I told him, hey, if you guys need anything, give me a call. I'm always willing to help you guys and Wished each other luck, went out, did some fishing, took my client out, we caught some nice fish. I think the biggest fish for us that day was probably a 30 pound blue cat. And right around noon, I was wrapping up my trip and my phone rings and it was Justin. And 
he asked me if I had a scale on my boat because they had caught a fish that they wanted away. It was said it was a pretty big fish. So I said, yeah. And we kind of found out where each other were. He was actually not too far from me. So I drove out and I met him at the, in the middle of the lake right there. We're about three minutes apart from each other actually. So we get out there, we, we weigh this fish and it is a big fish. And I tell Justin, I said, hey, if you want, I can take some pictures for you guys. That way you're both in the picture together. And I said, yeah. So I start taking pictures for him. And as I'm taking these pictures, I notice something about the fish. Well, the fish that Joseph caught had a very peculiar looking tail. It had a rip down the middle. It was a little bit um, deformed, I would say. Maybe he, he had hurt it somehow. But I noticed this tail on this fish and it's the same tail. I said, Justin, I recognize this fish, brother. I go, my client caught it just a few months ago. Same fish, guys. Check out the pictures. It's a great way to see how this worked, that we let this fish go. And not only did it survive, but if you look closely at the pictures, when Joseph caught it, it had some, some battle scars on it. It had some scratches on it. I think it had been up in the brush. And when Justin caught this fish, the skin is nice and clean and healthy looking. So it just goes to show you that catch and release does work. Now here's something I want you to think about. This fish was caught and released in 2021. It's now 2023. And if this fish is in there and still living and healthy, I can guarantee you it weighs more than the 52 pound state record. It's just out there ready to be caught. So does catch and release work? You better believe it works. There's a saying amongst fishermen that says the best gift that you can give another fisherman is to release a good fish. So next time you catch a big fish, keep in mind that when you let it go, not only is it gonna survive, it's gonna be a great gift to someone else and it's gonna keep that gene pool going. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.